Number 45 of 2020 was Battle Royale by Kushun Takami. So this book is absolutely fantastic. I think this is no one of my favourite books. I was enthralled the entire way through, couldn't put it down. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a massive book, about 647 pages, and I just loved every minute of it. I didn't want it to end. I was like, oh, this is so good. I have not read a book and loved it this much in such a long time. So it was so nice for me. Like, you know, I'm not one of these people that likes every book that I read. Um, so for me, this, this was absolutely a, a breath of fresh air. It was just so good. And it's so unfortunate as well, because the guy who wrote it is not like a prolific writer like he doesn't want to write another book like he he didn't even really want to write this one and it's like why not because you're fantastic like you should you should write loads of books please for me um so essentially what this this book is about is there's a, a republic of greater east asia that's been created after a fascist japan has won world war Two. so obviously that didn't happen in reality so it's kind of like an alternative uh, dystopia genre and essentially what happens is is this government military program that kidnaps a class of students in fact multiple classes of students and they get put into um a battle royale so a, a, an arena which is essentially where they all have to kill each other until only one remains so it's essentially what the hunger games stole the idea from because when I was reading this, I was like, I can't believe that I've loved the Hunger Games for so long, and yet it's pretty much been based on this book, and this book is better. So, what's fantastic about this book, and why I loved it so much, is that um, Takami adroitly understands human nature and demonstrates the impact of fear on trust and how our fears prevent us from trusting people and the impact that that has on our resultant behaviour and I just thought that the 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 interaction between the characters is just it's just fantastic and I think that it might have something to do with the fact that it's been written by an author who's from an eastern culture and the way that collectivist cultures think about how individuals interact with each other because often in in western um individualistic culture and the novels that are written it's very kind of from the perspective of a person like the narrator or the omniscient you know or the the, the kind of the main character protagonist whatever but it, the interaction between characters is not really done very well whereas this book does it very well and i think it might be because of the cultural difference um and the plot is like really fast paced there's a lot of stuff happening all the time obviously there's people being killed all the time and because the um there's like 21 boys and 21 girls and as you can see like i've crossed stuff out you probably shouldn't actually look at that i had to i was i started reading it and i could keep track but then because there's so many of them and obviously they're all kind of japanese names and I'm not familiar with Japanese names, you know, they're not called like Bob and Karen. So they're quite difficult for me to keep track of because I'm not used to the names, like at first. Um, and then, so I had to like go back and just cross off all the ones that had died so I could keep track of the ones that, that hadn't died yet and I knew kind of what was kind of going on. Um, so it's it's confusing enough to be fat, like to be, I was gonna say to be fantastic, but I keep saying fantastic, to be great. Like it's just really, really good. Like I was just so like, thankful that i that i got to read this book that this person wrote this book it's very psychological as i mentioned before it's very much about human nature and and the interaction between our like base nature and our like higher nature like our higher consciousness and and the interaction between those two it's great it's so good um there's loads of twists in it as well and you know at one point there was this massive twist and i was like oh <gasps> As if that just happened, I was like, oh my god, like, what? I can't believe this has just happened. And then it twists back again, and it's like, oh my god, this is so good, like, so good. And you, because there's so many twists, and because you don't trust anybody, like, you as the reader doesn't, you know, you don't trust any of the characters, you don't really know whether to, like, you, you feel like the other characters in it not trusting the other characters, like, it's written that good. And, um, the only thing that you could perhaps criticise about it is the characterisation of the teenagers because 
some of them you might think oh that's a bit unrealistic but if you think about like Japanese culture and Japanese teenagers and how they kind of behave it's actually very good characterization in that sense so you might criticize the characterization from a western perspective but i think if you were to kind of look at it from from their culture you might actually think that the characterization is okay so i can forgive that i can forgive that the the characterization isn't really delved into that much because they are in a situation where they're going to be killed and it's all about that kind of base nature and that whether you trust another individual and that's kind of the focus of it and because it's so fast paced and there's so much plot you don't need as much characterization so i would definitely recommend this book if you have not read this book then read it because it's so good i haven't watched the film and i don't think i want to watch the film because it is quite gruesome and it and i don't really want you know i've got images in my mind from this already that i don't really want to see visually because i think that 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 desensitizes ourselves to violence and i'm not really okay with that so i don't want to watch it um but if you have watched it i wonder if that spoils the book uh because obviously i wasn't aware of what happened or anything and, and i just read the book so i found it absolutely great um and yeah definitely definitely read this book it's great so good so glad i've read it